I'm really grateful for the Anne Frank exhibit, not just because it taught me about the Anne, about Anne Frank and the Holocaust, but because it enabled me to teach others about about the Holocaust. And I liked learning the details of the Holocaust because I had already had knowledge prior to the exhibition program, but I didn't really know a whole lot about how they lived or like how it ended and what happened after what the aftermath was. So I thought it was like really cool. Me, I hadn't read the Anne Frank book, so I didn't really know too much about her. So having the exhibit and like going through it was like more of a way to get like more like up close to her experience, I feel like. And I learned like a lot about what was happening to her and her family and uh, just like everyone else that was going through the same thing. So when I was teaching the students about it, my mom came and she told me that um, one of her friends, like grandparents who was in the Holocaust, one of her friends, they were at school and th th on the sem the um the announcement was if any jewish people come down to the office and one and she decided to stay there but her friend went down there and at the end she never saw her friend ever again the story of anne frank is important to us today not just as a history because it's something that can still apply to what we do today Anne's story allows us to have a personal connection with the past, and since her story rings so truthful in hindsight, it allows us to apply it, what, apply it to what is happening today all around the world. Because um, I've been told that it's not usually in the curriculum, and I think it's really important that people know about this because it's still going on. There's still uh, xenophobia going on with Jew um, towards Jewish people, and that's just still really terrible, and people need to learn about this so we can learn from our mistakes. I think that this experience has also made me more aware of the situations that have been happening in this world and how the Holocaust kind of can relate to the present day problems like we have. For example, the immigration crisis at the border, um, as well as Syrian refugees and the refugee crises around the world. I feel like the Anne Frege exhibition was very empowering to especially our community and I feel like what it taught us was to speak up and see the, all the bad things in the world but to be optimistic that there is hope and that there is things that we could do in order to prevent bad things happening and I feel like it was just a conversation started to something huge that we could change in the world. I feel grateful for the Anne Frank exhibit for teaching me not only about the Holocaust but also how to become a better public speaker and raise awareness about an issue that should never be forgotten. And also for me it was like a learning experience because um, I got I learned to be patient with other people and also that you should speak up and to be optimistic about the things that might happen in the future. I thought the exhibition program was really cool because everyone that came here was really nice and I also got to meet people from different grades that I didn't really know and so I guess I made new friends and that was really cool. I also feel that it was really inspiring to see somebody who was my age make such an impact on the world and have such beautiful writing and I think it really shows that any young person can change the world and even in the worst scenarios, you can make a difference.